What exactly is sea monkeys growth food and what's in it? In this series we're taking a look at every single sea monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real sea monkeys. This yellow and green packet has a large number 3 graphic on the front with a detailed guide on how to use it over on the back. Feeding pet sea monkeys. Feed your sea monkeys one small scoop of your measuring spoon 5-7 to seven days after they hatch and then once every 7 days or when the water is clear. Do not overfeed. Cloudy water indicates too much feed remains. Main ingredients, assorted mixed salts and organic ground vegetable powder. So the history of this pouch is pretty convoluted but I'll do my best. The very first sea monkey kits didn't come with any food. Yeah, I don't know how they were supposed to survive but that's just how it was. When the wave packet designs were released in 1968 we got our very first food pouch but it didn't have a number on it. Instead this packet simply said sea monkey growth food on the front with a nice little illustration by Henry Lamoth of a sea monkey who looks eager for his supper. When Ben Harvey did his redesigns we got a real treat because his food packet illustration was the first time we had a female sea monkey grace the front of a pouch. Here she is feeding growth food to two baby sea monkeys in high chairs. I have to admit that Harvey's illustrations are definitely my favourite. Something about those beady eyes is so endearing. Joe Orlando put his own spin on things a few years later, recreating Harvey's illustration while also adding in a dog who's salivating over the prospect of getting some of the food. Now I should mention that while this pouch was originally purple, it did get another limited print run in the 80s and 90s with new colours, this time being yellow and green. The final design change came in 1978 with the large number 3 graphic. This was the first time the food packet was given the number 3, cementing it as one of the core sea monkey pouches. Let's take a closer look at the food. You can see that it's a light green colour, which gives me the impression that it's most likely some kind of dried algae. It has quite a strong smell to it too, almost like a green tea or matcha fragrance. Let's pop it under the microscope to see what it looks like at the microscopic level. You can see that there's definitely a mixture of ingredients in here. Most of it is green, but there's also some red coloured food too. I believe these are those food pellets I mentioned earlier which dissolve in water, making it easy for baby sea monkeys to eat. There's also some salt crystals in this pouch. This is likely because over time, water will splash out of the tank when you're aerating it. So putting a bit of salt in the food packet is an easy way to keep the tank's salinity relatively consistent. Something really surprising is that there's actually a few sea monkey eggs in this pouch as well. I've heard a lot of people speculate that the food has eggs in it, so here's your confirmation guys. The rumours are officially true. So for this experiment, we're going to use my personal favourite tank, the Ocean Volcano from 2020. Now we already know that this food packet works well for feeding sea monkeys, but let's test out the egg theory just to make sure. I'm going to fill this ocean volcano tank with regular plain salt water and add in a few scoops of the growth food. I'll give you an update in a few days so we can check if any of the eggs in the food packet manage to hatch. Hey guys, it's been about 48 hours since setting up the growth food experiment and you can see that a few babies from this pouch have indeed hatched. So if your sea monkey colony is dwindling in numbers, perhaps you could try adding a little food into their tank and you might see some new hatchlings appear. Though you'd be far better off trying out packet number 4 for that purpose instead, Plasma 3.